Yeah. I'm finna go in. I'm finna go in, baby. I need you to shine. 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 This video, baby. I'm finna go in tonight, baby. I'm finna go win. I'm finna go win tonight, baby. I'm telling you right now, I need y'all to share this video. I ain't going in till you share this goddamn video, baby. I'm telling you right now, shout out to everybody on here. Shout out to all my top super channels. Shout out to everybody that show love. But baby, this night here, right now, I'm about to go in, baby. So if you want to see something Nino Brown, baby, and you can't go to bed, I'm finna inspire you, baby. There's some people out there talking down on your name, baby. There's some people out there say you can't make it, baby. There's some people out there bringing up your past, and you never supposed to bring the past in the present of somebody that's working on their future. But there's somebody out there, I'm gonna tell you what's going on. I need y'all to share this video. Put this in a Facebook group chat. Put this on your Instagram. Put it on your stories. I need somebody to see this right now. Cause baby, I'm finna go in tonight, baby. I'm finna go in tonight, baby. I'm just adding up, baby. Shout out to got that Cesare Brown over here. Cesare Brown, what's up with you, baby? We finna go in tonight, baby. I need everybody to I need you to share this video right now. I'm finna go in. I ain't going in till you share this video because I'm telling you right now, this one video here, shout out to Willie Johnson on here. Willie Johnson, Willie Neal, baby. I'm finna go down tonight. I need everybody to share this video, baby. I need you to share. I'm finna go in tonight. Shout out to Jerry Queen Huff. Shut that shit up. Oh, here with that bullshit. Every time I go live, they want to come round and ride by with the bullshit. We going in tonight. I need everybody to share this video. Let me tell you something. There's some people out there talking down on you. Shot that John T. Scott just checked in. John T. Scott is really my number one supporter, man. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate that. 323 on here. 323. Goddamn the movement, baby. I don't want to miss nobody. Shout out to Trap Star Moses on here. Shout out to Dunn. Gun Dylan. We finna go in tonight, boy. Shout out to Jay Pezzo on here. 323 Top Super Chatter of the night. Out there in Denver, Colorado with that 323 gear. Get ready for it, baby. Send me my shirt or send me the website where I can get my shirt. Joshua Stinson on here, baby, going down. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I want to tell you something about life. That people don't even think about. I'm finna go win tonight. I'm finna go win tonight. Oh, if you, oh, this might be bitches. You know, I don't know what they don't put in my cup. I don't know what they don't put in my cup. But I'm finna go win. I need you to share. Share this video, baby. Because it's going down tonight. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Getting a little crunk just checked in. They're going down tonight. Just getting a little crunk in the building. Let me tell you something. Nobody knows when life going to begin or when life going to end. Ain't nobody in the world could tell you when they, that they knew what time they was going to be born. And ain't nobody in the afterlife could tell you that they knew they was finna die. Marquis Jenkins on here. Shout out to Marquis Jenkins. That's my dog out there in the army and the military. What's up with you, Marquis? Let me know what your sergeant say. I'm trying to get you down here to Miami, bro. Tell me what your sergeant say by getting you down here, man. Take some leave, some time off. Come on down here, I got you. Shout to Randolph on here. Randolph, what's this? Let me tell you something. Nobody knows when life will begin or end. A pregnant woman can go get an educated guess from a doctor on the birthday of her unborn child. This doctor could get her assumption of what he think when the baby gonna come out, but he can't guarantee her. Phenomenal fillet. What's up? What's up with your phenomenal? What's up? 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 What's up?
Sule on here. Sule, what's up with your baby? A pregnant woman can go get an educated guest from a doctor on the birthday of her un, uh, her expected unborn child. He can only get her an assumption. But never in the history of mankind has a doctor gave an accurate exact date and time of a date of birth of a child. I'm finna take it, I'm finna go in tonight. I need y'all to hit it, cause this is real stuff now. They may tell that pregnant woman that that child gonna be born in nine months. But she may deliver that child in seven months. Even the woman might think that the birth will happen in a bed on a Sunday morning like she done seen in the movies. But the truth is, that woman could be out shopping. That woman could be at the mall. That woman could be grocery shopping and she could drop that baby. That woman could be in a movie theater watching a movie and she could drop that baby. That woman could be in a club having a drink, having fun and she could drop that baby. Let me tell you something, baby. Gene, I own here, Dallas Chuck T, what's up with your baby? She could be out there hanging out, having fun, watching a movie, grocery shopping, and her water could break at any time. Because I'm going to tell you something. Life or death moves on God time, not man time. Only God can send you to this earth and call you back whenever he feel like it. Only God can send you to earth whenever he feel like it. you was born. No matter what hospital you came from, no matter what predicament you came from, you was born with God say so. And he could call you back home whenever he say so. Nobody could control that. Can't no doctor save you from a higher power called God. It's some wealthy people out here that want to live forever. And they trying to do everything in their power to stay alive as long as they want. But nobody in the history of mankind have been able to reverse the process of death. No matter how rich, no matter how poor, no matter how good, no matter how bad you is. When God say it's your time, it's your time. You can't do nothing about it. I'm finna get to a point on that now. Ain't nobody in the history of mankind can tell a child what they was gonna be when they was gonna grow up. People talk down on you. You was a badass little boy. You were problematic. You were giving everybody problems when you was growing up. You was out there, goddamn, in juvenile facility. Little mama, you was out there. You was an animal. You were having sex with everybody in the hood. But look at you now. You was a problem child. You done with the juvenile. You done got them smoke weed before your time. You 13 years old smoking weed. Look, mama, you 10 years old sucking mushroom tip. But look at you now. Look at you now. As a child, you might have been problematic, but then you grow up to be a teacher, a police officer, a preacher, or a lawyer. As a child, you might have been a good kid. You might have a, a, a your father might have been a pastor. Your father might have been a law enforcement officer where you was forced to do right. Not by choice, but by force. But when you grew up, you became a drug addict. You became a hoe. You became a not a, 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 a narcissist. I can't even say the goddamn word, y'all. I'm on that shit. It's on, baby. Or sometimes you could be around the right soil, but become a failure. Because it was, it's, it's not in you to be a success. It was just put around you. It was just placed on you, but it's not in you. Understand what I'm saying? No one can predict your future based on your current state. Nobody could tell you, you understand me, you gonna be a failure just cause you failing right now. Can't nobody tell you what you gonna become just cause you ain't become that right now. You might been broke all your goddamn life. But one day you go play the lotto and play the right goddamn numbers and boom, bam, boom, shot. You a millionaire. Soon as you wake up the next day, you a goddamn millionaire. You were broke your whole life. You ain't, you ain't never hit in your life. But one day you play the lotto and boom, bam, got diggity, your simity sound. You done came up.
and you ain't never looked back. Let me tell you something. Do you know it's some people out here that never got, got down? It's some people out here that never been to prison. And then you got people that got, come, got down convicted felons that been to prison that served five, ten years in prison. And when they get out of prison, they doing better than the people that ain't never been to prison a day in their life. Your current situation is not your final destination. Don't let nobody tell you just because the devil penetrating on you that that's where you pose to stay. Boy, let me tell you something. That's just a day. That's just a time. That's just a trial period. But at the end of that trial period, boy, you finna blow up. Boy, you finna come. You finna blow up. You finna come up. Can't nobody tell you. What you, but listen, man, let me tell you something. Uh, 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 goddamn, uh, uh, Joseph went to prison. Joseph went to prison. They, they, you had to go in the lion's den. Just cause you went to prison, you might come out of prison and do better than people that ain't never been to prison. Just cause you went to prison, don't mean that goddamn you, you a failure. You just made a mistake in your past life. But boy, let me tell you something, when you correct that mistake, that's why it's called the apartment of correction. When you correct that mistake, the devil done messed up. Cause boy, let me tell you something, God don't make no mistake. God sent you into that prison to get corrected cause you finna get into your gift. You finna get into your calling. You finna get into your purpose and you finna serve the world, baby. Cause success come over time and not overnight. It's some people that never been in prison but they struggling, can't find a job. But here it is, it's people out here that serve real hard time they whole life. And when they get out, boom, they're a millionaire. And when they get out, boom, they're a business owner and when they get out boom they shining and stunting and they get money you wish like hell you were just like them but they told you don't go to jail gene what's up with you shot the cesare brown on here what's up baby it's going down tonight let me tell you something i want you to think about eggs let's go to eggs if you take an egg inside that egg is life. So a, a egg broken from the inside gives that egg life, which means a chicken grow up out that egg. But an egg broken from the outside is that chicken life, and now he scrambled eggs. Understand what I'm saying? So I'm gonna tell you what I mean by that. And I'm gonna repeat what I just said one more goddamn time for the dummies in the back room. A egg broken from the inside produces life a egg broken from an outside force ends life which means if you allowing people to control your egg or control you while you controlling your egg it puts your egg at serious risk the end is life because inside your egg got so much potential. Inside your egg got a business. Inside your egg got happiness. Inside your egg got prosperity. Inside your egg, you got so much life. But it's somebody on the outside of you trying to crack your goddamn egg and you listening to them. You listening to they egg head ass and they trying to crack your goddamn egg because they egg been cracked. That's why they head so goddamn big. I need y'all to share this video. I ain't going, I'm telling you right now, I ain't going to go, I ain't going to go, I ain't going to share this video. I'm telling you right now. There's some people out there right now, egg been cracked from an outside source. They had so much life inside them. They had so much potential inside them, but they got around the wrong people that told them, you have been to prison, you supposed to fail. They told them, you have been a stripper, you supposed to stay a hoe. They told them, 4151, what's up with your baby? Shot the smoke man, Joe on here, what's up with your baby? There's some people on here, man. Leah, not on more lands, what's up with your baby? Boy, let me tell you something, baby. I'm over here sweating bullets too, Leah, not over. Boy, I'm finna go ahead and going in tonight baby i need y'all to share this video i'm finna go in tonight baby i'm finna inspire you tonight baby 
There's some people out here pacing your past in front of your presence right now, trying to block you from seeing your future because they can't get it. They, 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 they can't get to their future. They've been blocked, so they trying to block you. Hurt people hurt people. People that's hurting gonna try to hurt you. But an egg broken from the inside, which means if you break your own egg and don't tell nobody the plan, guess what? You finna get rich. But if you let somebody, if you tell somebody what you got going on and they break your egg, it's gonna end your life. It's gonna end your chances. Let me tell you something, Drew Boy, what's up with the Drew Boy 247 that my dog baby is going down. Don't let nobody break your egg, baby. Stephanie Morgan on here. What's up with you, Stephanie? I gotta go hard tonight, baby. She said, why I'm going so hard tonight? Somebody say, uh, hey Nino, birthday coming up in March 20th this month. Not capping. Thanks for giving us the word. You better believe that little crunk. Skinny little crunk on here. What's up with you, baby? Don't let nobody break your goddamn egg. This your season. If you allowing people control over your life, you allowing people control over your end. And they got the opportunity, Misha Creighton on here. What's up, Misha Creighton? I seen you and your little nephew in that vibe. It's about, I seen you in that vibe. Marquis Jenkins, what's up with your baby? Mouth talk, action talk. You better believe that. Stop letting people, allowing people, uh, the dominion over your egg. Hold your egg and guard it. And let me tell you how, how simplistic that rule go. An uh, egg is so fragile. Which means your dream is so fragile. Your goals are so fragile. Which means that if you get any kind of negative talk about your goals in your ear and you ain't accomplished it yet. If somebody tell you don't buy that house when you had in your mind that you want to buy a house. Let me tell you something. You will crack your own goddamn egg. It's some people out here trying to crack your egg and you going to let them. They egg head egg. Hey, everybody see me on here? I see the devil working tonight, but boy, he can't stop me. Let me tell you something about this enemy, man. When the enemy see that you prevailing, when the enemy see that you telling his plan, he trying to stop God's plan. I need y'all to shout. This video, baby, is going down tonight. I need everybody to share this video, baby. I see the enemy trying his best tonight, but he can't stop me. He can't stop me because God working, God in charge. It ain't about what the enemy got going on. It's going down tonight. I need everybody to share this video. It's going down tonight, baby. Because the enemy trying, he know I'm finna go win tonight. I need somebody to share this goddamn video because boy, I'm finna go win tonight. I'm going to say what I said again. A egg broken by inside force gives that egg life. A egg broken by outside force ends the life of that egg so if you telling people what you got planned you allowing them access to end your egg stop allowing people the power over your life you are in control you got to keep full control over your egg life and you got to protect your egg because your egg is very fragile your egg is very soft so if you mess around and bump somebody with the wrong energy they just might crack your goddamn egg if you get next to the goddamn taisha and she hating on you bomb quisha she might just crack your goddamn egg i need y'all to share this video baby the enemy trying tonight but he can't stop me he can't stop enemy you got to come come on enemy come on come on come on come on enemy come on i'm ready for you baby i'm ready for, ain't nothing you could do ain't nothing you could do god got this baby god got this i'm gonna keep going understand what i'm saying baby let me tell you something it's some shit you want to do in your life who that is trap star moses what's up with you baby trap star moses on here what's up with you let me tell you something the things that you want to do in life your plans, your goals, your dreams, your ambitions, that's your egg. If you around people that have eggs like yours, then you gonna be fine. If you got people got the same admirations as you got in the world, man, and you, they wanna do things that you wanna do in the world, that's fine, cause y'all gonna help each other come up. But if you around people, man, that ain't got no eggs, and if they eggs don't seem to have the potential that your eggs got, you going to let them people crack your egg due to their limitations that they placing on you. 
There's some people that, that got in limitations on them and they placing their burdens on you. They telling what you, what you can't do just because they can't do what the f you could do. They hating on you. It's some people trying to crack your goddamn egg, baby. You got to stop telling people that don't clap when you win more news. Because just because you feel like they supposed to be happy for you, that ain't true. Baby, there's some people that supposed to be happy for you that's miserable, baby. I need y'all to share this video. This one of the videos I need y'all to share this video because somebody going through it right now. But they don't know that God finna make it rain in their house. They don't know that they finna find their spouse. This woman been without a man for seven years. She don't know in this eight year, she finna meet a man that's finna change her life. She don't know that she finna be blessed. It's somebody out there wanna be a single. It's somebody out there wanna be a clothing designer. It's somebody out there right now wanna be on a barber shop. It's somebody out there right now wanna do taxes. And you've been procrastinating, and boy, they've been hating. And boy, let me tell you something. This the year that Satan would not prevail. He could go back to hell, because God finna make sure you do well. Do you MP, what's up with your baby? Everybody love Chris Styles on here. What's up with your baby? I'm going in tonight. Don't tell the plan, show the results. Matter of fact, don't tell the plan, let the results do the talking, as you just say, show the results. See, when you tell the plan, you telling about your egg. And you might tell one of the egghead ass haters that really, really and truly jealous of you. They really and truly can't stand you. And you think they supposed to love you just cause they your brother, sister, mother, cousin, bunky, cellmate. It's some people in prison watching me right now, cellmate, bunky. There's some people in the army watching me, but they got haters in the army too. Don't think because they're in the army, everybody got love, some haters in there too. You got people in the military hating on each other. If you tell them your plan outside that military base, they're going to tell your sergeant what you got going on. They're going to put you at administrator leave and you're going to be in the, in the goddamn camp. You're you going to be in the, I don't know what the, what the punishment spot in there, but that's where you're going to be. I need y'all to share this video. It's going down tonight. They got their enemy trying, but baby, we finna go win tonight. Let me tell you something. Misha Creighton say these haters desperate. They on the Easter egg hunt, but I already got the golden egg. They still looking for them. I gotta add that one. You ain't gonna act up, Misha. Misha, I love you because you so optimistic. You full of life. That's what I love about you. Can't nobody crack your egg. You know why? Because you full of life. You done cracked your own egg. Can't nobody steal your joy. It gonna be some people come around you, Misha, that can't stand you just because you, you got happiness. It gonna be some people come around you, Misha, man, that's gonna be jealous of you because you got joy. It gonna be some people that come around you because they jealous of you because you got grace. Your ancestors done prayed over you, Misha. Marquise Jenkins, your ancestors done prayed over you. Your grandma, your great granddad, they, they watching you. Harriet Tubman, them, they watching you. Don John Tay Scott, man, yo, you man, listen, man. John Tay Scott, your mother, your father, and your grandma watching you, and that's why you a good man. It's some people watching you right now, man. Your grandma prayer saved you to this day. You supposed to be dead and gone, prison and all that. But your grandma praying for you, and you don't even know. Your grandma praying on your egg to hatch because you've been telling her as a kid that one day you was going to do it big. So your grandma praying that you get an opportunity to be the first millionaire in the family that save the whole family tree. I need y'all to share this video. I'm finna go in tonight. The enemy can't stop me tonight, baby. I'm going in. I'm going in tonight. It's very important, man, that you hang around people, man, that have potential. It's very important that you get around people that got the same potential, if not equivalent potential, and got them the same ambition you got so y'all can pull on the same train. Because what you got to understand about a boat is, it's two sides to a boat. If you ruin on your side and they start ruin on their side, that boat will take a turn on your side only. So that boat ruin on your side, so now you going in circles. Because guess what? There's some people on your boat right now poking holes. There's some people on your boat right now, they poking holes. There's some people on your whole po boat right now, they trying to goddamn get your bank, bro. There's some people in your boat right now, they can't stand you right now because you got a boat. There's some people on your boat right now, every time you row, they got them punching a hole in that boat. They want your boat to stop so bad. 
and you got down drowning like you drowning, you going down low, you don't even know it. You know why? Because you got the wrong people on your boat. You got the wrong people on your boat, baby. Let me tell you something. People you associate with, man, are critical, man, are crucial for your destiny. Let me tell you something. People, some people have limited beliefs. Some people don't believe in the things that you believe in. You might be a Christian, they might be a Catholic. They might be a satanic, you might be with Jesus them. You understand me? Some people just don't believe that you could change the world. Look at Thomas Edison, imagine what he went through. Look at goddamn Henry Ford, imagine what he went through. Look at goddamn Firestone, what he went through to goddamn build the first tire that you ride on every day. Man, listen, look what everybody go through to become successful. Look what JP and Morgan went through to be the first financial advisor. The first financial system, JP and Morgan Chase. Nobody ain't gonna tell you that. Look what Wells Fargo go, Henry Wells. Nobody ain't talking about that. The people you associate with is gonna be crucial for your destiny. Cause some people got limited the beliefs in their goddamn head. Some people have negative things that go on in their minds that they ain't telling you about. There's some people that don't believe in they self. And they mad at you because you believe in yourself because they've been taught that you you can't do nothing because nobody in this family ain't never did nothing. But baby, let me tell you something. You're going to be the first millionaire in your family. It's a, nobody in my family ever did nothing I did. Nobody in my family ever went to the fucking White House. Nobody in my family ever stood in front of a camera and motivated the world. Nobody in my family ever did what I did. Nobody in my family ever left a mark on this world that could never be removed. So I had to remove myself from my family and I had to start my own family and make my family that I'm creating priority. Because I understand that I'm a rare breed. I understand that God put me on this earth to do something different than was done to me. I got to undo everything that my family did to me. I understand that I got to change my beliefs in my family. I understand that I'm different and I accept that invitation from God. Understand what I'm saying. I understand that some people around me when I was growing up lacked vision. I had a little brother and a little sister. Yeah, we was all in the same family, but God chose me to lead this path here. Sometimes God could have a different destination for you than the people around you. Some people just got sight, but you got a vision. You know when shit supposed to go. You know how it's supposed to go, and they can't stand you because you got a vision. Because you got power, because you got restoration, because everybody hating and they know the journey you facing, but you able to do it and you still do it. You got it hard, but you get your power from God and they can't stand you. Let me tell you something, God gonna keep empowering you. God gonna keep empowering you and he gonna keep showering you with blessings. You know what I mean? People try to kill me, man. You know how many people tried to kill me about what I'm doing? You know how many people tried to stop me? I had somebody call me the other day, and let me tell you something about success. Success is what your enemies think about you after they tried to kill you. I had an enemy call me just yesterday and tell me, hey man, we tried to stop you, but I got so much respect for you because though we tried to stop you and we couldn't stop you, you kept going, B Ross, this gonna be your year. B Ross, this gonna be your year, Ross. This gonna be your year, y'all. Listen, Ross, B. Ross, I don't know if B. Ross on here, but B. Ross, this gonna be your year, dog. I know my supporters by name. This gonna be your year. You gotta understand that some people out there are jealous of your potential. There's some people out there that see what you could do, but they hold you back from doing it. There's some people out there know you are gonna be the next to blow. You gonna be the next big rapper. You finna be the next big hairstylist. You finna be the next big America, next top model. You finna be the biggest out there in Australia. You finna be the biggest in London, the biggest in China. You finna be the biggest out there. Marquis Jiggins finna be the world ride, goddamn biggest military cadet, sergeant, and goddamn purple heart veteran ever walked the face of the goddamn military and boy some people like that jealous of that shit marquise there's some people jealous of you ross there's some people jealous of you misha 
There's some people jealous of your Sule. There's some people jealous of your John Tate. I know they jealous of John Tate. John Tate, man, listen, let me tell you something about John Tate. John Tate Scott came down here. When he flew down here, he gave me a story. He said his mama and his daddy died before he ever got a chance to meet him, and they left him on the fence. Do you know that Jesus was left in a manger? I ain't never met nobody that strong with dog did. And when I talk to John Tate, he's still optimistic about life. He's still happy. Man, that shit touched me. That shit touched me and let me know, man, God is real. Let me tell you something. I ain't got no goddamn fear. I got favor. And John Tate, you got favor too. There's some people out here jealous of your potential. There's some people out here lack the vision you got. There's some people out here got negative mindsets. There's some people that got limited belief. I want you to free yourself from beneath these people. You up under these people that don't mean you no good. Because I'm going to tell you something, right? See, that jealousy, those negative thoughts, those limited beliefs can put... That shit can penetrate your mindset and make you lose sight of the life that God got stored inside you. They cracking your head. They cracking your egg because they egghead ass listen to enemies when they was born. They egghead ass listen to they hating ass mama. They mama hating because they mama ain't never had nothing. So they mama want their daughter not to. There's some mamas out here so goddamn sick in the head that they so negative that because they ain't had nothing in life, they don't want their kids having nothing in life. So that jealousy, them negative thoughts, them limited beliefs, them penetrate the mindset and made you lose sight of the life that God got stored in you. Because you let these people that ain't got no life in them, they so lifeless that they trying to crack your head and you don't see it because they disguise as your goddamn family member and they disguise as your brother them and they disguise as your best friend and your next door neighbor could be a hater. But you don't see it like that because you know why? You blind. You ain't standing next to the light. Lost soul, what's up with your lost soul, baby? I'm going to keep going tonight. I'm going to keep going tonight. I'm going to keep going tonight, baby. Sule say, thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. TGE, the truth. One, what's up with your baby? It's going down tonight. Let me tell you something. Just because your friend losing in life, because right now you got a friend that's losing in life. I need y'all to send this to your friends right now. I need y'all to send this to a family group chat y'all got on Facebook or the WhatsApp. Matter of fact, put it in the WhatsApp. I need y'all to send this to somebody right now. Some people out there that need to hear this, that need to see this. I need y'all to send this to somebody, man. I'm finna go in tonight. I wanna let you know something about life. Just cause your friend is losing in life don't make you a loser. Just cause they losing don't make you annoyed. I got a problem with it. Let me put this down. Let me put this down. Hold on, y'all. Let me let me put some more of this shit in there. Hold on. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right goddamn now. It's some dudes out here that just hang around dudes all day. I'm starting to realize y'all like this. That's my dog and all that. I, I, I get it. But when I was growing up, man, I like to be around a woman. I don't want to be around men all day, man. And y'all hang around men that can't even take you nowhere. They so jealous of you. They so re they so disrespectful to their own mama, disrespectful to their own wife. And here it is, you hang around them and you got a wife. And you call them your dog. And you want to be around them niggas all day. Your house fill up with niggas all day. Your woman got down come home from work. She see niggas all in the house. Man, what kind of nigga you will, man? Man, separate yourself from people. Pam had Expo on here. What's up with your baby? Separate yourself from them niggas sometimes, bro. Give that woman you got her time. She don't deserve that. You got to be clear about that shit, man. Man, them niggas that you got around you, if you go to prison, man, them niggas gonna be the first one to leave you. They ain't gonna answer no collect calls or none of that. They ain't gonna put no money on the books. They ain't gonna put no money up to bury your fuck ass because you got killed. They ain't gonna do nothing for you, dog. Get them niggas from around you. Make them niggas split right now. Some of them niggas hang around you, they losers, so they putting in your mind that you a loser too. Let me tell you something, just because your friend losing in life don't mean you gonna be a loser.
It's going down tonight, baby. Yes, sir. It's going down tonight. Let me tell you something. Just because your friend's business done failed, that don't mean your business gonna fail. You got friends right now that done started a business and they business ain't doing so well and they feel like cause they business ain't doing so well that your business gonna fail. But let me tell you something. God ain't called them to do the business they doing. They just heard your idea and stole it from you and they felt that doing it. But God ordained you to do the business that they trying to do. It's really for you. And they so jealous and resentful that God called you to do it. They're trying to outbeat you. And they might have money. They might have more influence, more power than you. But when God called you to do something, it don't matter what you dress like. It don't matter what you smell like. It don't matter what you talk like. It don't matter what you look like. It don't matter what you act like. When God put a certain gift in you, it's for you. It ain't for them. And just because they failed at doing it don't mean you're going to fail at doing it. Cause it's your calling. God ain't called them. Matter of fact, God called you, but you got you be around these niggas all day long. So what they did was they answered your phone and they took your calling. But the call still was for you. Understand what I'm saying, baby? There's some niggas right now that hang around niggas all day, and just cause your niggas go to prison or they die in the streets, that don't mean that you gonna die in the streets. All my niggas went to jail, my nigga. All my niggas went to prison, my nigga. All my niggas died in the scrap. I seen niggas die right in front of me, dog. I'm blessed to be here. I ain't supposed to be here, baby. I ain't supposed to be where I'm at. I'm supposed to be in prison, man. Understand what I'm saying, man? But just because my dogs died in prison or died right in front of me, I'm still standing here. And life is a long race. It ain't about what you do today. It's about how long you can keep doing it. So just cause your friends go to prison or die in the goddamn street don't mean that you gonna die in the streets. It don't mean that you gonna go to prison. Jesus, my main man Jesus say that he got a video that he did that all his homies in it. I'm talking about the BMF niggas. I'm talking about the niggas he knew in the street. And he say every time he watched that goddamn video, he started crying. I said, why you stop crying? Why you start crying, Jesus? He said, I start crying because everybody in that video is dead or in jail except me. Everybody in the video, I look at the video, man, I see Big Meech here. I see this one here. I see Kick It B there. I see that one there. He said, either they dead or in jail or I don't mess with them no more. So it bring me to tears because I think about all the good years we had and we can't have them no more. And I realized that I had to go another way or I would have been in the way and I would have did what they did and I wouldn't even be here today. That's what Jesus said. So sometimes God will call you and you could be in the wilderness. Sometimes you could be in the dark, but God will call you and retract you back to the light because God the only one that got the power and dominion to create life and put a life to death. Can't no doctor do that. Can't no doctor save your life in that chair when you losing your life and you got a hard goddamn disease. Can't nobody stop you when you got cancer from dying. Can't nobody stop you with corona trying to kill you from dying. Can't nobody stop you but God. When God say it's over with, it's over with. When God say it's your time, you finna blow up. So when people tell you that, man, you can't blow up, you ain't nothing but a crack dealer. You ain't nothing but a drug head. You a drug addict. You a stripper. Let me tell you something. God will come in that strip club as a customer. He ain't gonna tip. He ain't gonna drink. But he gonna get in your ear. And he gonna say, little mama, go put back on your clothes. This ain't what you supposed to be doing. You a business owner. I'm finna bless you. God will get up in your ear while you in the trap. You and your auntie house cooking the crap. God will get up in your ear and say, put that fork down. Put that baking soda back in the fridge there. Put that glass cup back in your mama cabinet top. You a football player. When God called you, can't nobody interrupt that call. God will redirect your life. When God has a calling on your life, it don't matter what you doing. It don't matter who you around. It don't matter where you at. God will redirect your life and order your steps. You just got to be ready for it. Let me tell you something. I remember I used to hang in them streets all day, man. I used to be in them streets all day, man. I used to be around them street niggas all day, but God gave me a reality check. 
I used to steal cars. I remember I had a nigga I used to steal cars, but he dead right now, his name Kenny. I used to steal cars with him. You understand me? He taught me how to steal cars. So when I was in 11th grade, I thought I wanted to be a goddamn crook. So I go out there with a screwdriver and I'm busting up a, a goddamn car with them Pribble Pines. And God gave me a reality check. One day we stole a car and the police was sitting in the lot watching us steal the car. And they pulled up behind us with their lights off while we was hot wiring the car. Now, mind you, Kenny got his van parked behind the stolen car. And I'm goddamn in the car trying to figure out how to, because I ain't know what the hell I was doing. I was a young boy. I was a young boy. My nigga Kenny seen the police he didn't tell me nothing and left me in there with the screwdriver up under the thing like i'm a goddamn mechanic and he bust off in the van he took them on a chase and he got away but the police locked me up for grand theft auto and i took that charge and my buddy got away i caught three years probation because it was my first charge but six months on being probation i violated I'm out there hanging with some of my homeboys from out the hood, man. We go to the club, you understand me? We got into it with some ops. It ain't even my ops. It's these niggas' ops. I don't even know these niggas they beefing with, but I want to be a gangster. So you know what I do? I go to my trunk, grab me a baseball bat, because I'm the baseball bat nigga. I, I like to get a bat and hit your ass across the head. So I go get the baseball bat, and I get the swing. I'm swinging. I'm hitting the nigga all in his shoulder. I done broke some shit. So watch this. Somebody heard us arguing with the nigga before it got to the baseball bat and all that shit, right? And before it escalated, and they called the police. So the police was already on the way before I get the swing in the back. But when they came, I'm still swinging, and my homeboy is running. They don't even tell me that the police coming. Now, look how green this shit is. I get caught in the car, in the stolen car. You understand me? Then I get caught hitting the nigga with the baseball back on the floor, blood on the back, got their hand on the back. They got evidence like a mother. Now watch this. They locked me up. I got a new charge and I'm on probation. I went to court, them off me five years in prison. I'm in 11 fucking grade, though. But they want to charge me as an adult. So watch this. I went back to my cell because I ain't got no bond. I had a trial the next day. Do you know when I went to trial, God got in that judge ear? And he overruled that judge. And I end up walking out of that situation, man, without taking them five. I could have went to prison for five years. I wouldn't even be here talking to you right now. But God bless me. But after them two encounters with my homeboys, I realized I started to stay to myself, Javier, bitch, Badero, what's up with you, baby? I realized, man, I can't mess with you niggas. Y'all niggas get me in trouble, man. I can't mess with you niggas, man. Me and friends don't mix like oil and water don't mix. So I had to get from around them niggas, man. I cut they ass off. And God allowed me to grow, and here I am today. I'm supposed to be in prison right now. I supposed to be in prison, right? I ain't gonna lie to you. I supposed to be in prison right now. And I'm gonna tell you something. All them niggas that I used to rock with, about 20, 30 niggas, man, I swear on everything, only two of them made it to be something. One became a UPS driver, and one became a manager at Amazon. The rest of them niggas, man, I swear for Jesus, man, all them niggas dead, uh, 20 years in jail, man. 20 years in jail, all them niggas dead or in jail, right goddamn now. So I cut their ass off. And then I went to doing some research when I got out. And I looked at a cat named Henry Ford, the creator of the Ford goddamn truck, the Ford vehicle, right? And I realized, I say, man, I'm hanging with street niggas, but look at Henry Ford. Henry Ford was close to Thomas Edison, the creator of electronics, the creator of the light bulb. And then you got down, he was close with got down Harvey Firestone, the creator of the rubber tire. These three guys dominated the goddamn marketplace and they had no goddamn egos towards each other. But here it is, I'm hanging with Craig and goddamn Poodle Tang them and they get me fucked up because I'm around the wrong kind of energy. But these guys, Henry Ford, Harvey goddamn Firestone and goddamn Edison, Thomas Edison, Look at the power and connect. Look at when you look at Bill Gates and when you look at goddamn, what his name is, the richest man in the world, um, Warren Buffett. 
man, you can tell these guys really rock with each other, man. They ain't got no hate, no remorse. No, look at Jay-Z. Jay-Z just sold two companies and made a half a billion dollars in the first couple months of this year because he tied to Warren Buffett. Y'all around here tied to people that ain't taking you nowhere. Cars take you places. Without tires, you can't ride. Without electric, you won't be able to see. So guess what? Henry Ford was the first goddamn car maker. Harvey, Harvey Firestone was the first tire creator. And Thomas Edison created the, the damn light bulb. We won't even be here talking right now on the goddamn phone without Harvey Firestone or without uh, Thomas Edison. So imagine if you was connected to people that had power and influence and you got this egg. You got this egg, you got this admiration, you got this will to become something. You got people around you that can't take you, but you want to be around them people so much that you so tired of these people because you call yourself being real. But let me tell you something. It's a difference between being real and being real stupid. Right now you looking real stupid because you at an age right now where you got kids. You at an age right now where you got them on your last leg. You need to be around people that's going to take you places instead of set you back. You hang around niggas right now, you know if you came up, them niggas gonna set you up. You hang around women right now that just want a bag from you. They don't really, they, they don't, they wouldn't even do, they, they don't, they don't care about you like that. They don't love you like that. Let me tell you something, you need to get around people, man, that'll put you on the opportunities instead of putting you in the face of trouble. You got so many people right now, they'll call you, man. Hey, man, come get high with me, man. Hey, man, let's go to the club, man. Let's hang out tonight. Hey, man, yeah, come ride with me, man. I'm finna go rob somebody, kill somebody, do somebody bad, right? But when it's time to get money, where the folk at? Them folk ain't put you in no kind of position to get you no money, but they always put you in the face of trouble. And when they goddamn get time for the goddamn hurry, hurry, as far as the, 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 the judge, and you wake up the next morning, you realize you got to take that time, them same niggas, man, they dropping dimes, man. Them niggas ain't going to do nothing for you. They ain't going to hold shit down. So understand what I'm saying. Don't tell nobody. what I'm going to sum it all up for you. Don't tell nobody about your plan. Don't tell nobody about what you got going on. Just protect your egg and understand that one day if your egg in the right kind of environment is going to hatch. And that egg going to grow to a whole chicken, man. That's why they call a brick a bird. That's a whole chicken, man. That's a 36, man. Your egg finna grow into a 36 and you finna triple-double rustle. But the problem is you got so many people around you watching you hustle and they ain't doing nothing. They waiting on you to hustle so they can beg from you, borrow from you, take from you. You got so many takers around you that you don't even understand that. You don't even understand how many people just take from you and they don't put nothing back in the pot. You gotta stay away from people that make constant withdrawals in your life and hang around people that put deposits in your life because if they keep withdrawing from the goddamn bank, goddamn it, you ain't gonna have nothing left over for yourself. And success come over time, not overnight. Y'all make sure y'all go get these shirts too. Success come over time, not overnight. I'm gonna explain that. This egg you got, if you keep it in the right environment, in time, it's going to come. Chinese bamboo tree. Chinese bamboo tree take five years to grow. And in the fifth year, in the, in the fifth, fifth year, in five weeks, it grows about 80 feet tall. So imagine having a seed in a certain place and you got it mauled for five years. You watering this seed and it ain't growing over five years. And everybody looking at you like, man, what you doing? Man, I got, a, I got a tree gonna grow up, it's gonna grow big. Everybody looking at you stupid. They like, man, you know what, man? You ain't never gonna, man, that ain't never gonna happen. But you constantly watering that seed, cause you know what it's gonna do. You done did your research, you know what a Chinese bamboo tree, but not everybody know what it is. So here it go, right? You watering the seed, watering the seed. And in the fifth year, it break ground. Don't you know in the fifth year when your dream break ground, some of the people that was around ain't gonna be around no more, they gonna be dead in jail. Some of them gonna have babies. They used to be fine, they ain't fine no more. So in the fifth year, now you balling. You still looking good. 
you got a better car. Your kids doing better in school than bum. You don't produce a fruit tree that's finna feed you and your family for the rest of your life. So don't let nobody tell you how long it take to be successful. It ain't no time limit on success. Cause through the years of you going through your process, you learning, but you progressing as you learn. Keep learning. Cause one day them learns turn into earns. Always remember that people use the word L for a reason. People don't understand that that L is not a loss. That L is a learn. You never lose, you learn. Because either you're going to gain something out of the situation or you're going to learn something in the experience of the situation. So don't let nobody tell you you took an L. Even if you spent $100,000, you learned not to spend your hundred k at that certain place no more. But you never lose. You learn. And in, in due time, you stop learning and you start earning in that particular department. Success come over time, not overnight. And let me tell you something. When God yell action in your life, can't nobody yell cook. There's some people out here right now, man. If you get an ounce of success, man, they coming with a brick of failure to, to draw it on your goddamn ounce of success. But when God say action in your life, when God call you, when God say it's your time to shine, can't nobody block your life. I don't care how big they is. I don't care how great you may look at a man. I don't care how they positioned in life. I don't care how much money they got. God would take their wealth because they wicked and they done stored up so much wealth and give it to you because the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. So understand all you got to do is keep fighting. God finna bless you, but he testing you right now before he bless you. He testing you right now and you got a giving heart. The other day, let me show you something, right? So one of my super chatters, Misha Creighton, she sent me, I believe it was like $40, $50 on a super chat one day. I look up on her Instagram because I follow people that super chat me. So I see on her Instagram, she done got blessed with $400. And I told her, I say, let me tell you something. Didn't I tell you God was gonna bless you because you always giving, you always donate, you always sending money to my channel. God done bless her with $400. John Tay Scott got blessed. Marquis Jenkins keep getting blessed. Every time I look on his page, he blessed. 323 official blessed. Sule Unica blessed. Leonardo Morlands blessed. The Prince family blessed. God gonna test you before he bless you. Cause it's a lesson in the testing. And then you get to the blessings. Understand what I'm saying? Them L's turn losses. L's come before M's. A, B, C, D, E, L, G, L, M, N, O, P. Watch this. L come before M's. So them losses gonna come before the millions. You gotta take them losses cause them losses finna teach you something on how to maintain the millions. You gotta go to prison. Listen, man, right now you don't wanna go to prison, but you gotta lay down in prison. Come and tell you sometime, sometime your connection ain't on the street. Sometime your connection in the prison. I know some niggas that done went to prison and met a nigga in the prison. When they got out of prison, them nigga made millions of dollars, man. That happens all the time. Huh. Don't let nobody tell you you a failure because you start somewhere. Don't never be ashamed of your job that you work at right now. Don't never be ashamed of the things you do at right now. Whatever you do right now, whatever your occupation is, that's just temporary, baby. But God finna bless you with that permanent shit. God finna turn your life up. God finna change your life in front of the people that doubted you, man. They're gonna be asking you if you got them hiring. Baby, I thought I seen some goddamn red across my feet. Let me get the goddamn drink. My nerves bad. Mm-hmm. God finna bless you in the midst of your enemies. God finna bless you in the midst of your enemies, y'all. There's some people hating on you. There's some people doubting you. There's some people neglecting you. Hold on, I missed somebody. Hold on, who that was? Shout to Kevin Dabo. Shout to Jeremiah St. Gerard. Shout to Sean Harris. Shout to Javier Vadero. Shout to Pam's Hat Expo. Shout to everybody. Send them. Make sure y'all send me a super chat. Show some love. Go off and bless y'all with the stimulus check. So let me tell you something. Over the weekend, if y'all haven't heard, Joe Biden signed a $1.9 trillion stimulus package. 
Y'all finna get blessed this weekend. They finna bless y'all with $1,400. And if you got kids, you're gonna get by three, four bands. The least you could do is send me a couple dollars on the super chat. Show some love, baby. Cause God finna bless you. This weekend here might be tomorrow, for that with a Friday. He signed the executive order today. So they're gonna expedite the process. So Saturday, between Saturday and Monday, check your accounts. You finna get some real big money. You finna get blessed this weekend. Mm -hmm. Them losses finna turn to millions this weekend, baby. But this weekend here, I don't want you bull crapping around. I want y'all to continue to doing what you always been doing, man. Stack your money at broke. Stack your money at broke, man. This, this week here, man, this one here, man, stack your money at broke, man. Remember, don't stunt when they stunt. It ain't about doing things. Shout out to Marquise Jenkins, thank you so much. It ain't about doing things, man, just because they doing it. Shout out to Mr. Gold on here. Mr. Gold, what's up with you? It ain't about trying to keep up with the Joneses. It ain't about trying to put on it and goddamn do what they doing, man. Listen, man, let them do what they do, man, and you do it the day after they can't do it no more. Shout out to New Money Melbourne here. What's up with you? Thank you so much for that super check. God bless you for that. I want to shout out everybody showing love, man. God is good, man. It's hard. It's real hard to do what I do, but I make it look easy, baby. Please believe me. I make it look easy, baby. But it's real hard to do what I do, but I do it hard. Understand what I'm saying? I get a glory to God. Please understand that. Don't tell nobody your plan unless you plan to fail. Keep working on your plan, keep building your plan. I'm gonna tell you something else, right? So when you're going through stuff and you don't tell people that you're going through stuff, you can always correct the stuff before you tell people after it's been corrected. But the moment you tell the plan, right, you gotta stick to that plan. And if that plan don't become a success, they immediately look at you a, like, as a failure because it ain't happened the way you said it was gonna happen. Nah, bro, you ain't do it the way you say you were gonna do it. So what you do is, you keep that plan to yourself and that way if plan A don't work, you revitalize plan A and it turn to a, a different kind of plan agenda because we never go into plan B. Plan B is to go back to plan A and revitalize plan A. Ain't no plan B. Success, the route to success ain't a straight shot. You're going to have to take loopholes, curves, and dump, jump over some shit. So just understand, man, that don't tell people what you're working on. Cause when you tell people about your work, they gonna be overlooking your shoulder every minute of the hour and waiting on you to fail. And the moment you fail, they gonna say, I, I told you, I told you you ain't gonna do it. I told that uh, everything I told you once you fail. But when you're coming up, don't nobody wanna clap for you when you win. Please believe that. I need everybody to share this video. I need everybody to send a super chat right now. I need everybody to show me some love. I don't care if it's $5, $10, $20, whatever you can. Support the movement, man. Like John T. Scott told me when he got down here. He said, you know, I super chat you because, man, people need to hear what you saying. And if everybody support the movement, the movement will be stronger. We got to support you. Cause that's how you win. That's how you get ahead and reach more people. Man, I appreciate brother like John T. Scott. Man, when he told me that, I ain't gonna lie, I went home and I told my family. I say, man, that brother told me some real stuff. And if you look at Martin Luther King, if you look at Malcolm X, if you look at Judas in the Black Messiah movie, they had to do donations to people, you understand me, to, to the guy for he could keep the message going. So man, I appreciate the donations, man. It, 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 hey, man. God is good, man, either way it go, man. But I just want to say thank you so much, man, for blessing. You understand me? Shout out to Yvonne, Yvonne on here. Yvonne, it'll always be the women that be out super chatting, man. If it ain't Marquis Jenkins, Leonardo Moore Lance, or John T. Scott, or Chaz Fudge, or the Prince family, it's always a woman, man. It's always a woman in the midst. Shout out to Lala on here. Shout out to Lala on here. Shout out to Yvonne. Yvonne just came through. I appreciate that. But man, let me tell you something, supporting is very important. If people ain't supporting, they ain't important. You got to support people, you understand me? Because people trying to reach different kind of journeys in their life. And man, it don't cost you nothing just to show a little love, man. Cause you gonna get it back. Shout out to Roger Nowood on here. You gonna get back that blessing. Man, over the weekend, remember I told you, remember Nino told you this. Over the weekend, check your bank account. Boy, them checks finna hit, boy. Everybody finna come up this weekend. What happened? Why would I tell you? This weekend here? Boy, you finna be blessed, boy. 
Boy, you finna be blessed, boy. You finna call the weed, man. You finna go get you a fifth of hen. And you finna go to Popeye and get you a chicken sandwich. And that's your weekend. Netflix and chill. And little mama, you finna go get your lashes done. Yo, she's been bragging this is the last stimulus check. Your wig got down coming up right there. The little touch up. You ain't got the money for the touch up. A little $60 for the touch up. You finna get your little $60 going. You finna get your, your new booty pad. You finna go get you a booty pad. Cause you ain't got enough to get your ass done. So you gonna get you a booty pad. The weekend, you gonna go over there to the Chinese lady, get your booty pad. You finna come out this weekend here. Them niggas gonna be at you this weekend. They finna change your life this weekend, baby. This weekend here. Boy, Joe Biden done some big boy. Old man Joe done signed some shit this weekend, dog. That finna bless the world. So all I ask is for a little donation. That's all I ask for, baby. Show a little love, baby. Shine the goddamn ebony, the dread. Well, I'm taking women, man. Them women. I don't know what's up with you niggas, man. I know, I see why women be acting like that. They don't want to give you no coochie because you don't show no love. That's why they don't give you no coochie. But them women, you can't look down on a woman. Let me tell you something about a woman. This year here, the women finna come up. This year here, the women finna come up bigger than the men. We gonna have more women billionaires. See, we in a male-dominated industry. In the music entertainment business, is male dominated. But the woman don't realize they power. You have the power of the P-U-S-S-Y. So you could use that power. You don't even have to sleep with nobody. Just because you got that power that sit between your legs, the power of life. People want to be attached to you, baby. But you got to know how to utilize your power. Now, what I mean is this. I'm going to teach you the game. So watch this. If you a woman and you fine, you pretty like he bond, he bond, and dread, we all the soule and all that. I be looking at your face, y'all very beautiful women. La la on here, you understand me? Shout the Anilas, Anita, look at Anita, she's so beautiful. Uh, thank you so much, Abundant. God bless you. What you got to do is this. Let me teach you something, little mama. Your attitude determines your altitude. So if you beautiful and you got a bad attitude, you automatically disqualified. A man don't like a woman that got a bad attitude, a slick ass mouth. You supposed to be seen and not heard. All that loud mouth stuff, you can't be doing that. Jonathan Teller, what's up with your baby? God bless you. Shout to turn that Latasha on here. What's up with your baby? God bless you. Tone that Latasha, it's on, baby. Shout to Judith Robinson on here. Judith Robinson, what's up with your baby? Yes, sir. Let me tell you something. Look at them women coming. Man, listen, man. I don't know what's up with you fellas, man. But these women on here, man, they showing love, man. And I'm thankful for a woman. But let me go back to the story. If you a woman, you probably be seen, not heard, which means all that loud mouth ghetto shit. Man, a man don't like that. Unless he ghetto. And if he ghetto, shot to Robert Mitchell on here. If he ghetto and you ghetto, y'all ain't going too far. You need a man that teach you like, little mama, look here, man, check this out, man. I'm gonna put you through law school. Yeah, I'm gonna buy you a business. Cause buying your woman a business is the new Chanel bag. Buying your woman a business is the new Louis Vuitton shoes. Buying your woman a business is the new move. Stop trying to impress your woman with all these materialistic things that don't carry no value and start investing in your woman. Teach your woman the game and stop trying to run the game on your woman. Marquis Jenkins is the number one super chatter of the night. God bless you. Marquis Jenkins, I want to fly you to Miami, man. Make sure you find out if your uh, sergeant can let you come to Miami. I want to bring you to town, man. Shout out to Charles Holloway. Shout out to Gene on here. Gene, what's up with you? Gene say, the vision is for the future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. And if it seems slow coming, wait patiently for it will surely take place. It would not be delayed. That's a blessing. That's real talk. I had to walk, I had to, hey, you know I'm on point. Scoop Baby Motivation, what's up with you, baby? Shout out to Pharaoh, shout out to Jay Slay, shout out to Sean G. So Sean G got an event coming down in Miami, right here, downtown Miami. April 10th, Nino Brown and a couple others gonna be there. Y'all make sure y'all come out to the motivational event 
is going down on April 10th. I'm doing my first, I ain't gonna say my first, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say one of my top motivational speaking, you understand me, events of the year. Definitely my first of the year with Sean G. If y'all wanna be a part of that, y'all make sure y'all holler at Sean G. Sean G, get at him in the comments. If you are watching, make sure you let them know about the event that you're doing on April 10th. It's a big event. You understand me? A lot of big stuff. Matter of fact, I turned down some stuff to be a part of my man doing because I like it. It's very positive. Y'all make sure y'all check that out. I also want to shout out to, um, he said I'll be there next month. Okay, let me know. Sule said she'll fly in there next year. Jerry King. Matter of fact, I want to fly two women in for spring break next week. I'm going to pick two women to fly in this week. Luso. Salenzo, what's up with you? Shout out to Chris German over here. Nino, I really appreciate your word of wisdom. Truly blessed. God bless you. I appreciate that. Ron Burner, what's up? Professor Lowe on here. What's up? Shout out to Dr. Dix on here. God bless y'all. I appreciate everybody watching, man. It mean a lot. Shout out to my main man, Ken Mosley. You understand me? Joyful prayer on here. Shout out to everybody showing love, man. Y'all make sure y'all go to weedabusiness.com and get them shirts. Success comes over time, not overnight. Please understand that. Now I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna go back to my women. Ladies, use that beauty because success is 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 called security, right? And security is forever and looks fade in 15 years. So which means if you in your prime right now, let's say you like 25. You gonna look good like you looking right now to about 40. I'm talking about people that ain't eating healthy, drinking water. I'm talking about you just put makeup on, you wake up every day, you don't go to no gym, none of that. To about 40, you gotta pass. After 40, that ass gonna start sagging. The titties gonna be got them like got them milk jugs. And that face gonna go to pouting up. Cause you don't work out. You don't drink water. You don't eat healthy. You at Popeyes every night. McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, KFC. I'm, now my women that black women, black don't crack. So black women that got them go to the gym, go walking at the park, got them got them a dog go walking. Oh, they gonna be fine forever. They in their 80s still got ass. They in their 90s still fine. Still face beat. But you new broads. That don't want to work out, don't want to do nothing, just sit on the couch and watch Netflix. You got to about 40 years old at you 25. And I'm gonna tell you what you're supposed to do from 25 to 40 if you know you ain't, if you're on some Oprah stuff. You need to be bettering your attitude. You need to be shot the goddamn Sasari Atkins on here. She's so fine. Look at her. She feels, I'm talking about, I got some beautiful women be on here. I got the goddamn. Do they got a message on, on uh, YouTube on how you get to know people? I don't know how to do all that. Y'all got to teach me. I don't know nothing about that. But I want to meet y'all, man. I don't know how to. I be sending people to my other stuff to find out. Like, you got to hit me on my Instagram or hit me on my uh, my phone or something. 7863103112. And let me know, man, you be on here. Because I don't know how to message people on here. But I be getting it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I get the drift. But listen. From the age of 25 to 40, you're supposed to be working on your security. Your security is supposed to be your business. You understand me? Coming up with a business plan, using that beauty and that looks and them brains, man, and milking the game, man. Cause you got the power of life in between your legs. Now you got to be selective about who you get that power and who get the power to touch you. Everybody ain't got that power to touch you. Everybody can't goddamn bless the cool the cat like that. Hold on, I'll be right back. Y'all got the paw me, man. I've been goddamn moving around tonight. So I see goddamn connection all messed. I see everything. But listen, y'all make sure y'all um, have your attitude. And then, fellas, listen to me. Ch check this out. You ain't got long either, dog. If you a young nigga, if you a young man out here, dog, and you ain't got your stuff together, man, you got to be focused on getting your stuff together because one day you gonna get old. You can't be playing Call of Duty all day, playing John Madden all day, playing goddamn NBA 2K all day. You got to be out here on your shit, dog. 
because one day you're going to get old. And them kids in there, they don't want to hear nothing about no Gucci, no Louis, no Cuban Lane, no none of that. They want to know where the bag at. Got to have your stuff together. So y'all make sure y'all get y'all stuff together, man. Thank you so much. James Michelle say, James Michael say, thank you, Nino, for everything you've done for the people. Continue growing your gift. It touches more lives, people lives. I was on a mentor session with you, and I sent you a DM services. Just check your IG out there. I got you. I got you. I appreciate that. Shout out to Donald Swilly on here. Donald Swilly, what's up with you? Miss Atkins on here. Miss Atkins so beautiful. Shout out to her. Hey, look, man. It's been fun, man. I've been on here an hour with some change, man. An hour and 13 minutes, man. It's been fun, man. I need everybody to sign up. Y'all write this website down. So if you want a mentoring session from Nino Brown, one-on-one -on -one FaceTime with Nino Brown, go to mrproblemsolver.net. That's M-R-P-R-O-B-L-E-M-S-O-L-V-E-R.net. mrproblemsolver.net. If you want this shirt, success comes over time and not overnight, make sure you go to wethebusiness.com. That's W-E-T-H-E. B U S I N E S S dot com. If you want to talk to Nino Brown on the phone, or if you want to hit my phone with your information so I know you be supporting me, 786 310 3112. That is my phone. This is my only YouTube channel. This is I only got one Facebook, one YouTube, and one Instagram. I don't all them fake ass pages trying to scam y'all y'all make sure y'all delete that report that that's not me shout out to donald swinley on here shout out to goddamn toya thomas keep your blessed keep doing it totally appreciate you now i know how to donate thank you toya thomas thank you so much 415 mail on here thank you so much i'm tired y'all if you understand what it is man i can't be complaining about how hard it is to do what i do i just got to keep doing it and that's what we do but it's hard it's hard, man. It's real hard, and we do it hard because God gave me a hard job to do. But the fruits of my labor are what we working for because one day I ain't going to be able to do this no more. So I'm doing it while I got energy. Remember, life is not about money. Life is about having energy. If you got money, you ain't got time. If you got time, you ain't got money. If you got time and money, you might be lacking energy. So when you get enough money, you're going to run out of energy you're gonna be old gray tired so the bible say to whom you work so hard for joyful prayer just checked in shout out to joyful prayer thank you so much ken man shout out my brother ken i'm gonna be honest with you man that's a master teacher right there one of my favorite videos from him is the TikTok, and a couple others actually man um i get uh i'm glad i met that brother man i mean i, I ain't gonna lie very inspired by Ken because Ken is in his upper, I believe he's in the 60s or 50s or like that. And he what I would want in a father figure. You know what I'm saying? I look at that man like a father figure. You know, we talk all the time. And I when he talk, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm poised and listen. When you young, you gotta seek wise counsel in order to be get to get wisdom. So when I'm talking to somebody that's wiser, that done seen more, I brace myself. Because I remember when I was locked up, I used to be around the old heads and the old heads kept me sane and gave me the game. If you a young man right now, you in your 20s and you don't want to make the mistakes I did, find you an old head that got some game. Now, let me tell you something. The jury of an old man is his gray hair. He ain't got to wear no Rolex. He ain't got to wear no Gucci, no Louis, none of that. If he got gray hair, he made it. Because a lot of people ain't going to make it to see that great hair. Shout out to Vincent Santiago on here. So when I get a brother in my life, man, that give me the game, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and he plant that in my head and try to give me more life, because when people give you wisdom, they give you more life, because they give you more light. So I listen and I talk, and, and, and when I and I find out you're wise, I'm gonna call you all day. You know why? Because I'm, I'm, I'm addicted to realness, I'm addicted to knowledge. I'm addicted to wisdom. I'm addicted to try to become better in my life, to protect my egg. Because if an egg is broken by an outside force, it ends life. But if an egg is broken by an inside force, it creates life. So 
So if somebody polishing your egg and giving you game in your head, what's going to happen is it's going to promote that egg into life. And everything you got, Professor Low, what's up with you? Everything that you got in your mind going to become fruition and attraction. And you're going to attract the things you think about because the mind is a magnet. Whatever you think about, you're going to attract. Thoughts become things. So if you one of them things you talking about, you got to get around people that's talking about them things, that's polishing your mind. And I also want to let everybody know about Joyful Prayer. Joyful Prayer has a game, the Sexy Couples Entertainment Board Game. Y'all make sure y'all get that. If you a man out there and you, you know, you trying to play a game with your woman that's going to spark up that sex life again, make sure you go get that board game he got for a play I got the website somewhere, man. I got to put it on the... Uh, Joyful Prayer, put it in the comments, man. The uh, website to buy the game. Y'all make sure y'all get that game. It's a real cute game. Uh, uh, me and my great girls play it where we roll the dice and it tell them what to do to me and it tell me what to do to them. It's a good game, man. It rekindle that spark in your life. As a matter of fact, your old lady going to be grateful that you brought it home, baby. Look at this, look at this woman here. She's so damn fine. Ooh, look at Kiki in man on here. Ooh, Kiki, you got the look at that red hat, red lip. Send me your red hat. Sign your red hat and send it to me, baby. Sign that red hat you got on and send it to me, baby. I want your red hat. I'm putting it on with my cup. Mm -hmm. I want Ki I want Kiki hat. Who that is? Kiki? Is it Kiki? I want Kiki. Do you love me? Are you riding? Kiki, send me that hat, cause you so goddamn fine with that red lipstick, and I love red lipstick. If you know anything about me, a red lipstick and a thong, you got me all night long. I ain't never leaving the house. Mm. Y'all make sure y'all share this video right now. Y'all make sure y'all check out my brother Prayer Joyful Prayer Game. Y'all make sure y'all go to WeTheBusiness.com and get this shirt. Success comes over time, not overnight and get the crown, make sure y'all get these shades. I'ma ship them out tomorrow. Y'all make sure y'all support the movement. If you wanna talk to Nino Brown one-on-one, go to mrproblemsolver.net. Make sure you send a super chat to the channel every time I drop a video. Make sure you turn your post notifications on. Send this video to 10 people and let me know who you sent it to so I could give you credit for that. God bless y'all for watching, man. I'm tired, man. I'm poured out like an empty cup, man. Y'all already know what time it is, baby. It's time for me to rest up. We the business, baby. Yes, sir. Kiki, do you love me? Are you right?